they're making a liquid metal vortex with science. Gallium, electromagnetism, what could possibly go wrong? I am so excited to do this because this is something I've wanted to do for a very long time. It's just, I never seem to have the right materials or the time. There's always something in the way. But today, we are making a vortex using gallium. And I have gallium here. It's currently in its solid state. So we're going to have to melt it. Now, a fun fact for you. Oh, before we do that, this is Destructive Creativity. I'm Jonathan Allers. If you like this, click the subscribe button. Hurry up so that I can carry on with this experiment. All right, anyways. If you have gallium, a good way for you to be able to use it in its liquid form is just to have it in a heat-proof container and then just pour some hot water over top of it. The hot water, and you can have pretty hot water in there, as this is close to boiling, like 70 or 80 degrees, that's going to melt the gallium really, really quickly. So even now, just like, just like that, it's pretty much melted. There's a little bit more in there. Okay. And then what you want to do is you want a large syringe. And these, I don't even know where I got these, but I have a bunch of them. So when you have this, uh, once it's melted, okay, and then you can just stick it down into the liquid gallium. And now I have a syringe of liquid gallium that I can just use for whatever I want. So that's, that's how I use gallium if I want to make molds or make little gallium lego men that melt or in your hand or things like that. Um, I am going to take my ring off because gallium stains rings pretty bad. Okay, what else do I have here that I need to set up? I have a little dish, non-conductive dish. This is what, this is a very important. I've wrapped tin foil around the outside of it. So the tin foil is going to just act as the conductive material that I'm going to attach one alligator clip to. Uh, and then I have a big old stack of neodymium magnets. Now these magnets are very, very powerful. They're powerful enough, they mildly scare me when I'm holding them and playing with them because they can snap together really fast. So be careful. So I'm gonna put the dish over top of the magnets and I'm gonna put in my stainless steel bolt here that the, needs to go directly above the magnets. So what's gonna happen when I fill this dish up with liquid gallium, and I'm going to create a circuit starting from the outside edge going to the center pole. So it's going to be uh, connecting on one side to the other side. So what that happens is the electrons are going to be flowing from the edge to the center pole through the gallium because gallium is conductive. Now, when that happens, each electron that is traveling in a straight line from edge to center pole is going to be creating its own magnetic field. And that magnetic field is going to be in uh, at a right angle to the existing magnetic field of these magnets here. So as it's traveling, it's actually going to create movement in a perpendicular direction from the current that's actually being straight from the edge to the center pole. Now that's going to manifest itself by actually moving the gallium in either a clockwise or counterclockwise direction, depending on the direction of the current and the polarity of the magnets underneath. So if I were to flip the magnets upside down, it would travel in the opposite direction as well. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to test it out. I'm going to do this a couple of times because I want to move the camera around so you can get a close up and things like that. So let's get going. Hopefully uh, nothing bad happens because I do have a fire extinguisher ready if something terrible happens. All right, let's go. So I'm going to fill up this syringe with the gallium. Good, good, good. Now I'm just going to get out any of the water that's... There we go. Now I can just fill that up with pure liquid gallium. This is so cool. I love gallium. All right. Next step, I'm going to connect... Uh, let's do... Positive there, negative on the top. Actually, I'm gonna flip this around. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna turn this on here. Now, what do I have it set to? I think it's pretty low currently. Okay, I'll set it to a pretty low current. 
Oh, there we go. Okay, so hopefully you'll be able to see this when I move the camera around, but currently, because the gallium is so shiny, we don't see anything happening. But there is a strong current. It's slowly pushing the gallium around, out to the outside edge. So I'm going to actually bump the current up here. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. There is an awesome, there is a current. Currently this, okay, currently this current is traveling in a clockwise direction. Oh, okay, what, how can I show you this? Well, let's bump it up and see how steep we can go. I don't want to fling the gallium out to the outside edges. So it's this centripetal force that's pushing the gallium to the outside edge as it starts spinning around. Now, if I get too far, it's going to actually remove all the gallium and it's going to cause like a nice spark. So I'm expecting it. So I'm just going to keep bumping this up. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. The gallium is flowing around there. Wow. Okay, so currently I'm at about four amps. That should be sufficient. I don't want to get too carried away here. Okay, again, we're creating a current from, from the positive to the negative. And that's caused, that is sending an electron through, that's sending a stream of electrons through the magnetic field created by that brick of magnets underneath. And because it's in a perpendicular fashion, it's going to create movement due to the lens force. We have created movement using nothing but electricity and gallium and a big magnet. Okay, so if you were to try this at home, the biggest limitation is going to be the size of your magnets. The bigger the magnet that you have, the more pronounced this effect is going to be. Wow, that's so cool. Huh. Okay, I'm going to bump it up a little bit more. Okay, anyways. Uh, yeah, so the bigger the magnet, the more pronounced the effect is going to be. And currently, I have some pretty strong magnets, but I know there are some other people that have tried this online that have massive honking magnets that are actually dangerous. And you can get even more impressive results. But for me, I'm just excited this works at all. That's amazing. Okay, let's bump it up a bit more. Turn it down. Okay, so it was moving too fast. It was moving so fast that it was getting rid of all of short circuiting itself. So I'll turn down the current quite a bit. Where I'm gonna switch these around so we can see that it's actually going to be and now it's spinning in a counterclockwise fashion that's so cool and as i turn down the current <laughs> the effect gets less pronounced that's amazing okay i'm going to switch the camera around the gallium is slowly solidifying because it's kind of cold down in my studio. So it is slowly forming tiny gallium crystals on the top and that'll spread out even if I, oh yeah, there we go. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off here and then I'll show you the, the crystals that are forming. Okay, wow. Okay, let's see. So this right here, yeah, let me just grab some pliers. All right, let me, whoa. Okay, so see, <laughs> I forgot that these are magnetic pliers. Oh, they're stuck in there now. Okay. <laughs> oh, this. Could be worse, I suppose. Oh, come on, there we go. Okay, so that was a not a good thing to do. Now I have some non-magnetic sticks. Let's just see if I can grab this. Yeah, there's a nice gallium crystal. All right, let's see if I can show the camera here. Look at that, eh? Isn't that cool? All right, so I'm gonna drop that back in the water. So 
that'll melt and I can reuse it again. That's cool. Okay, so I'll just pour this gallium back into this container here. Oh yeah, that's cool. Take a look at those crystals that have formed on the bottom there. That's beautiful. Hopefully I can... Yeah, that's cool. Okay, drop those back in. Come on. Come on out, crystals. Well, thanks for joining me today with this gallium experiment. This is something I've always wanted to do and finally I get a chance to do it with you. So make sure you subscribe if you enjoy it. We have new stuff coming out every single Wednesday. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.